This is where you're camp? Yeah, it was all in through this area, right in through here where we had the encounter. And uh, this is where the camp was. So it was up in these trees here where I'd seen the strange markings. Here's one of them right over here. These are the marks that are left behind. Look how high up that one is. Holy I've never seen anything like that up high on a tree, as well as down on the ground. We've got some more over here. I'm gonna take some measurements right quick. Yeah. This tree looks like it's just been pushed over. Can you see this marking right here? Right there. Comparison from the ground to up. I'm gonna measure that one from right here. Well, that's 16 feet, and I'm a foot shy, so that's gonna make it 17. That's about how high that is up, too. Back in through here, we could hear them. It seemed like they were everywhere. It seemed like they were stalking us. It started to get dark. I think uh, what we'd like to do is get out of here and come back and do a night recon. I've never seen marks on a tree like this before. I don't know if it's territorial signs of a red devil or if it's something else. What we really need to do is come back here at night, do a recon, see if we can figure out just what the hell this is. Tonight we're in zone 12, Copper River Valley. This looks like the area. Yeah, this is the spot. We're gonna go out here tonight and try beating on the trees and see if we can get some communication going with these red devils. You know, this recon we're going on tonight, potentially one of the most dangerous ones we've been on. Uh, we know we've had one sighting right here in this area. One of the reasons I wanna go out here at night is the damn thing's gotta sleep sometime. And I wanna try to figure out where they're bedded down, see if it's here. You know, we've, we've never dealt with a tree-dwelling creature before, so we're gonna have to be, you know, looking up above us. Eyes of skies. Yeah. They might be sleeping in the trees. Yeah, they, they could very well be. Rhett and I will take the north side of the trail. Dudley, you and Faze take the south side. Let's stay no more than half a mile apart. See what we can find. All right, guys, let's go find us a red devil. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's go, boys. Rock and roll. Go. Be safe. We're right at the spot where our first eyewitness had his encounter. We're going to be knocking on trees, watching on the thermal. If there's a red devil in here, we're going to stir him up a little bit. We're going to get him to talk back to us. Dudley, you got a copy? Yeah, go ahead, Krusty. Hey, we're going to beat on a tree down here. And uh, we'll beat on it three times. And give it about 30 seconds. And then you guys do the same thing up there. See if we can get a reaction. Yeah, we'll do. Wait for your knock, wait 30 seconds, and we'll repeat. Just going for a little bit. Sounds good. Definitely heard something. Something is answering us. Come on. Krusty, Red. Over here. Dudley. Over here. Hey. That noise is coming right around right here. That's so damn thick in here. Shh. Listen, listen. Oh, Krusty. Oh, there's multiple creatures up in the trees. I can't tell what they are, but they're everywhere. Something's moving up there. We just need to back right out of here, get back up to the trail. Well, lead the way. Let's get the hell out of here. Go, 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 go. This way. Right now, we got to haul back that side by side and get the hell out of here. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Crush man, hit it, hit it, hit it. That was close, man. Oh, damn close. Are you kidding me? Holy 
I tell you what, my heart was beating fast, man. I think beating on them trees pissed them off. Yeah, if there's a group of them in there, and then they heard a group of us come in there beating on the trees, they might have been thinking they were getting invaded by another clan. We learned there really is red devils out here. We got to regroup and see if we can figure out how to capture these things. Today we're going to use an Alaska bush plane to do a little recon. If that red devil really is a tree dweller, we got the best chance of seeing him from the air, looking down into the trees. We're also going to have a team down on the ground checking it out. If that red devil's out there, we're going to find his All right, guys, I'm going to jump in the plane there and fly over where our first eyewitness had his encounter with the red devil. I want you guys to split up into two teams, and I'll be talking to you from the air. Anything I see from up there that looks promising, I can direct you to it. If you see anything from the ground that looks promising, you can direct us to it. Let's get this show on the road. All right, let's, let's go, go, man. Hey, Red. Copy, Krusty. Hey, about a quarter of a mile down the road from where you guys are. There's a grove of cottonwood trees, just like that spot that our first eyewitness told us about. Uh, can you go down there and check that out? Pulling over. Guys, guys, get over here, I got him. Get over here now. Oh, hurry up. Come on, Faith. Let's go, let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go, man. Red! There he is, there he is, there he is. What do you got? Krusty radioed me, right, from up top? Yeah. He said, check out this big, broken down birch. So I get up here and I'm checking things out. I came up around this stump right here. Yeah. Check that out. Oh, oh. That's about a 22 inches. 22 inches. This footprint is huge. This is not your ordinary tree-dwelling red devil. That's way too big to be up in the trees, way too heavy. That's an alpha right there, man. That's an alpha. It's got to be. That's an alpha, yeah. This thing is giant. We're talking about an alpha male here. I just put a new twist in this rope. Hey, let's get out of here. Let's go meet up with Krusty and let him know what, was, what we found. This changes the ball game. This isn't a little red devil. This is a huge alpha male. We gotta change our strategy a little bit. 